Hi, my name is Todd Miller. I'm a professional Scrum trainer for Scrum.org and am presently working for ITRO Group. Today I want to talk a little bit about when I was a development team member in a team using Scrum and we decided to collectively slay some technical debt. Uh, first, a little bit, bit of background as to why we got, had technical debt. Um, the application that we were developing quickly expanded outside the bounds of what we initially thought it was uh, going to be. Uh, surprise for anybody out there that's building an application. That happens from time to time. Uh, and we inherited a lot of technical debt, um, specifically in two areas. One, uh, when we found out that it needed to be internationalized instead of just based in the U.S. market. And two, because we really made a bad decision in using a third-party control set for it. Uh, so uh, what, what prompted us to start to have a conversation around technical debt and, and the why behind it was uh, we were realizing that our releases were getting more buggy. Uh, and on, on top of that, it was getting slower to code and, and more difficult to code around some of these areas, specifically when we were trying to do internationalization. And that was what prompted us to start having a conversation around technical debt. With a renewed urgency around technical debt, what we decided to do is take some time during a sprint to do product backlog refinement. And in this particular product backlog refinement session, we thought we might brainstorm as many product backlog items as we could um, and around technical debt. So uh, we gathered around a table with a bunch of bright pink sticky notes, which we considered to be a good color for technical debt. Uh, and we brainstormed these product backlog items. Uh, we were using a tool to, uh, to help manage our product backlog, but we felt that the bright pink sticky notes really gave this visual indication of what we were trying to accomplish in eliminating our debt. So we created an area in our development team um, room uh, for technical debt, and uh, as you can see here, I illustrated, we called it the wall of technical debt with all of these bright pink sticky notes on them. You can start to see, even with just four, that this is quite an ugly wall. And that's how the team felt. Uh, they didn't like it, but in a good way, because uh, we wanted this wall to go away. Uh, and it created a lot of different, uh, a, a, a different mentality on that development team than what had been there before. Uh, we had a renewed sense of ownership over technical debt. We really wanted to get rid of it. And any time that anybody would find technical debt in the application, uh, we would grab one of these sticky notes, we would shout it out loud, and we would stick it up on the board. Uh, you often hope that you were not the person that created that technical debt, because there'd be quite a bit of rousing if you did. Um, but then what we did with this is we took sticky notes into our sprint planning session, and we would slowly try to eliminate the technical debt over time. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we were still delivering business value um, during a sprint and not just spend months eliminating technical debt. Um, we wanted to make sure that we were still creating that business value, uh, but this really helped to create a sense of ownership in the development team around not creating any new technical debt and eliminating technical debt that was there. And the result really was a much higher quality piece of software. So by incrementally eliminating this technical debt, while still delivering business value, I want to make sure I mention that we weren't just taking sprint by sprint to eliminate technical debt. We were still adding business value. We were still delivering features into production. We're incrementally eliminating this. We noticed that our production bug count went down. We also noticed an increase in co uh, customer satisfaction and heard directly during sprint reviews from our stakeholders and some customers that we used to bring in that it really had the feeling like our, our software was increasing in quality. That was a real tangible thing. Uh, not that any new technical debt wasn't added, because it was when we found it. We were open and honest about it. Uh, but over time, we helped to knock down and eliminate parts of this pink wall that was so ugly to us and the team. Technical debt is a real problem in our industry. Uh, most, software, um, most software out there is really filled with it. Uh, but by potentially visualizing it, try that within your teams, uh, but still making sure your development team owns it, uh, whichever way they choose to do it, uh, you too can increase your customer satisfaction and increase the quality of your software that's in production.